Welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Here's a question for this week. How far do you want to go in your life? Where do you dreams? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? What will your legacy be? And what about the work for Jesus that you desire to do if you are his follower? Well, this week's wisdom from God tells us what will get in the way of us being able to accomplish those things. Listen to these words from Proverbs 19, verse 15. It says this, Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless go hungry. And there's two words that should jump out at us. Laziness. And laziness is being unwilling to work or work hard. And that word shiftless, we don't use that a lot in today's society, but shiftless means lacking drive and ambition. And in both cases, we can see here in Proverbs, the wisdom that the results are never good. Just a couple of thoughts as we think about that verse and we think about our dreams and goals and aspirations for our life. Number one, God delights in hard work. He delights in our work. In fact, Colossians 3.23 says, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as working for the Lord. So our work is for the Lord. And so we're called to work at it with all our heart. And laziness and lacking ambition then are dishonoring to God and who he has created us and desires for us to be. Second thought is this, laziness and lack of drive get you nowhere. And laziness and lack of drive are like a car with a dead battery. And not only is the battery dead, but when you go to shift it, it actually won't even shift into gear. And so not only is the car not workable, it won't get you to your destination. And laziness and lack of ambition are like that car. It won't get you to your destination no matter what happens. And so like that car, laziness and lack of ambition and lack of drive will limit your ability to be all and to do all that God desires for you. Now, so a challenge just for us to think right now, is there an area of my life where maybe if I'm honest, I become a little bit lazy? Or maybe I'm lacking the drive and ambition to really achieve what God's calling me to do and who God wants me to be. I think about relationships. Are there relationships where I need to be more intentional and I need to be more ambitious in reaching out and connecting with people and investing in people? And maybe even in my work, think about my work. Are there ways in my work where I've kind of been a little bit lazy and I've not really had the drive and ambition that I had before. And I need to be reminded that my work is for the Lord and I should be working as for the Lord. And so I want to invite you to just think about those in insights this week and think about how God desires you to work hard in all that you do and all that you set your hands to do. And so Lord Jesus, that's our prayer. You created us, Lord, in your image and I pray, Lord, that we would reflect your image, we would reflect your love, we would reflect your desire for people to come to know you. And one way that we can do that, Jesus, is as we work hard for you, that people will see that hard work, that ambition, and that drive, and they will ask what it is that allows us to work so hard. And when those questions come, Lord, we can point to you as the reason why. And so, Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the insights and the wisdom that you give us from your word. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, again, this week, just thank you for joining us and looking forward to seeing you again on Sunday. If you are a Shoreline family member, as a reminder, we have services at 9 and 11 a.m., both on campus and online. I hope to see you there. And if you're a member of another church, I hope that you'll find time this Sunday to gather with God's people wherever you're at. God bless you and have a great week.